today I'm declaring a state of emergency in the city of Flint due to gun violence. I consider us under a gun violence crisis at this time, and we need to break this cycle of violence. Amid a rapid rise in gun violence throughout the city, Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely took the unprecedented action of declaring a state of emergency, the first such declaration in the state. Thanks for watching the News at 5 tonight. I'm David Custer. And I'm Meg McLeod. That declaration is part of a new strategy in treating gun violence as a public health crisis, providing high levels of resources to address the issue immediately. TV5's Rachel McCreary has more tonight on how the state of emergency will help combat the crime. The city of Flint currently is experiencing gun violence on a daily basis. Flint is now in a state of emergency due to gun violence. Police Chief Terrence Green says this crime wave must end. I consider us under a gun violence crisis at this time. City of Flint crime data shows that homicides are up by 40% from last year. To date, there has been 158 non-fatal shootings in comparison to 88 in 2020, an 80% increase. Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely announced the declaration of the state of emergency on Friday. This gun violence must stop. The state of emergency allows the city to get additional money from the American Rescue Plan. $94 million has already been allocated to Flint. The declaration would include an additional $2.5 million to address gun violence. The circle of retaliation violence must stop. The money will help create an emergency response team or ERTs, according to the mayor. Working to reduce crime with special law enforcement officers, detectives, a medical professional, and even clergy. Officer gets a call uh, to a violent gun crime. Uh, that officer then would make an assessment and then make a call back to dispatch. Uh, our commander would then make a decision to engage the ERT team. Some of the money will go to youth programs like PAL. Neely is aiming to reopen Haskell Community Center in Flint as soon as next week. We need to be proactive in, in regards to how we're going to be combating violence in our community. We must start with our young people. Dollars will also be given to the development of neighborhood watch groups. Flint Councilman Santino Guerra says the community has to step up, especially regarding violent crimes. We also need your help. We can't do stuff unless the public speaks up. Green is working to hire 20 more officers, and he says this money is badly needed. The state of emergency is going to provide the police department and other agencies that work in conjunction with the police department the necessary resources that we need to fight gun violence. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM, TV5. Part of the plan to combat crime is to use a helicopter to patrol the city from above. Flint City Council could give the final okay as early as Monday to a proposal to lease a helicopter for three months. The cost, more than $300,000. During this week's city council meeting, Chief Green and other officers told the council the helicopter could help in various police situations, from shootings to reckless drivers and finding lost children.